What is up? Back with another video. How's everybody doing? What is up, y'all? We got something good, man. We got Andrew Tate, man. Andrew Tate is in some shit. Uh, this one is going to be on him destroying the feminist. And trust us, we know what's going on. He has another video out that he is uh, apparently being arrested for human trafficking. That's next after this one. So, yeah, it's a lot going on with Andrew Tate, man. So, we're going to get, you know what I'm saying, right into it, man, without further ado. <laughs> I like it. There has not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect on the name of a promiscuous female ever. Ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you could possibly name from history. Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, big G, conquered the world. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week, I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. I'm going to explain to you why it's completely different, so buckle up. It's hey, different. It's different. it's different. It's different. Well, I'll tell you why. Go it is impossible me. for a female to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself, because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men, and all of them are either high-value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which are at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She's just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games. Or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. For a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. You ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say, yeah, he's worth pussy. Yeah, he treats me good enough to get my pussy. Da, da, da. And you know what's funny about the universe? It's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces. When you devalue yourself, it's kind of like men can smell it on you. They can just look at a bitch and go, oh. And that's the way it works. So you have to be very careful as a female and sit and go, does this man truly deserve to fuck me? And if you think about it, the answer 99% of the time, especially if you're promiscuous, is no. So when a woman is sleeping around with all these men, she's devaluing herself. She's devaluing herself, and the world knows, God knows, the universe knows. When a man does it, he doesn't devalue himself at all. That's just the way it works. Can I ask you a question? Wait, that's wait. The is anything what he said wrong? Wait, you putting me on I'm just spot. asking. No, no. Wait, wait. It's not on the spot. It's like... If you listen to what he said, did he say anything wrong? I mean, I I have to like listen to it more. What? You ain't yeah, paying attention. Wait, wait, answer one second. Sir, may I ask you a question? What would you say if a woman now is married to two men? Haram. Haram. Wow. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. Let's talk about this. What is the difference between a man, let's say me, I have four wives, right? What's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? So yes. let's say you had four pregnancies. You'd know who the mother is, because she's carrying the baby, and you know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men, and she gets pregnant, who's, who's the parents? What about if... No, no I'm asking. Okay, you know? I ask, what if they're different races? Ask that question. Black? You don't ask that question. Yes. You don't, don't. Now, modern science can come along and maybe fix that for you, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong in, in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made it are, at least. If you have a woman fucking four years, <laughs> you know who, who, who got her pregnant. So may I just say, wait, wait, yeah. you, have, I, have you seen the twins that have two different dads? Oh, that's, oh yeah, I saw that. May I just yeah, say something then? So crazy. if that is the case, yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is, you at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are, then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get women pregnant sometimes they don't even know they have children that's a wrap no no it's completely different it's different because you have to understand i'm talking about humans you look at humans from a societal perspective but society has changed right so let's say two three hundred years ago if a woman got pregnant she needed a man to survive if that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy she was going to die she couldn't work a job she couldn't hunt couldn't fish whatever right a woman literally needed that man for survival so if if you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? Right. None of them want to look after her. She will literally perish. Mm -hmm. This is why most of the world today, still today, virginity is so coveted. And throughout all of history, it's been so coveted. Because that's the only way to ensure paternity. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She a virgin. Prove it's mine. Outside of this modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, in most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least... Uh, anti-promiscuity you can't tell that that's your baby so it's a completely different thing you're looking at the idea of a man a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men and saying one of you has to take care of me put up with me when i'm fat and moody and annoying and i need my bills paid and all the men are going to sit there and go no fuck no prove it's mine you can't prove it bounce well it's different if i get four women pregnant we know that we know yeah. the deal okay so let me ask you a question so obviously back then for survival said, women needed know. a man otherwise when they're pregnant so they could die and all of these things they would perish in today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women we can go Still again, man. yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what's actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, women, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft, but it's, mm. but it's, but it's bullshit. And it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy, one. And two, the second life gets difficult. You very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm independent. I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men be my OnlyFans. And if anyone mm. comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just name your whole life based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by a man. Who pays your OnlyFans? Man. man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm. Feminism out the window. goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car with a tire needs changing, then all that crap vanishes. Mm. It's garbage. Mm -hmm. with, and this is the actual very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to be canceled again, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This is what the whole point of the war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who can defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you will learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out, and he told me the Americans were, tell, were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistan Defense Forces there, and they get funded the Afghan Defense Forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites, you had night vision goggles, Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. Don't have, don't have a night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there. You look at this girl's school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this to girls, like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. But why don't the women fight? Yes. Oh, wait, the women can't defend. now so this is the thing this is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to a war wait, wait wait because this is the thing for example in ukraine a lot of women took up arms and in fact i'm angolan wait wait i'm angolan Wait, wait, I'm not going anywhere. Don't lie. Listen. Wait, no worries. I'll talk about my personal story. You want to go to war? You want no, to fight wait, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think <laughs> it's know. also really, like, silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's people are Let me tell you. I want to normalize let equality. Let People at home, feminists. Who no, I want, well, I should know equality. I want respect. That's really no, what I want. No, stopping you from getting respect. Is, is no, I get, I get respect. I get respect. I get respect. So, that's you what just I want. That's what I like. There's a room full of women. And everything he's saying, they're not disagreeing at all. But two women in there are just disagreeing. That's crazy. I've done in the twice I I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't take it. You. you do sometimes. You. And I'll I tell you something. You. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable to own that. And the reason.
reason why, then I would like to ask you, for example, um, I do need a, woman, a man, for example, to, you know, procreate. But other than that, I'm quite strong. And I would find things, I would find a way to protect myself differently. It, with that mentality, what would be the man that would be for me then? Denala, Denala, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door? What would you do? What would one? you do? What would you do? I'll tell you. No, I'm not a she feminist. Was shit as I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I play no, dead. One. <laughs> yeah? Okay. You see, you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. This no, I'd be like this. this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and kill me, there's not much that many people can do. But let's make an important point. You're talking about equality, equally respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing... Uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man, or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where it all gets fucked up. We're trying to yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight in war. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is so bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around with Pokemon dances to try and convince men to go fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line in Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai, Chile. That's where the women are. So to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie, is delusion. To say that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good at no, other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. As many of you. Alright, now that we watch the entire video. <laughs> no, I'm not no, putting you on the spot. You're still trying to what? You didn't understand what you were saying? Yeah, some of the stuff he's saying is definitely true, but yeah, that's all. Okay, well, my opinion, every single thing he said was 100% true. I And you, in one of the instances that he literally said, you're being real good at being a you know woman, you're good at being a man. So that's that's one thing that I definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Everything that he's saying is 100% true to me. I'm not saying that I'm better than her because she's a woman, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? But what he's saying, bro, you can't even lie. You know what I'm saying? Why is he canceled? Because he says stuff like that. It's truth. It's the truth. People are living in this fantasy reality like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to wake up. Like, let's be real. These feminists out here think that you don't need men. Without men, this world would not function. I'm just sorry. That's just facts. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. Y'all can take it however you want it. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm better than hell, like I said. But he's saying some real shit. And you, you can like it or love it or not. It is what it is. You feel me? <laughs> but without us, there's a lot of shit. I wouldn't be able to do. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. But hope y'all enjoyed this, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't know. I hope I ain't offended nobody by saying what I said. I'm not trying to offend anybody. You know what I'm saying? I have equal, you know, love for everybody with race. You know what I'm saying? Age, whatever. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I, everybody's equal. You know what I'm saying? But just listen to what he's saying. It's true. It's real facts. <laughs> we hope y'all enjoy. Stay tuned for more. We all, we got the new agitation on the way, man. Shit is serious. Human trafficking. I hope it ain't true, but. I don't think it is, me personally, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Milligan, 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 Milligan,